guys, it's Beer O'Clock on Ginger Beer Beer Review and today we are reviewing this. This is a beer from the Exeter Brewery in Exeter in Devon. Uh, it is their Darkness. The Prince of Ales coming in at 5.1%. Lovely looking bottle as you can see. 500 mil bottle, nice design, and without my glasses, it does look like it's an award winning beer as well. But still, right, okay, there's the label on it. Let's get it out of the bottle, into the glass, and see what it's like. Nice little bit of smoke coming off. Right, there we go. Not badly poured for a change. So this beer came to me from uh, my partner in crime when it goes to drinking beers, uh, Mark. You might have seen him on a couple of uh, of the videos. Um, not known for his uh, hair growing abilities. You know the one, glasses, got a face that only his mother could love. That's the one. Um, so, cheers Mark, thank you for this one. Uh, be interested to try see what it's like. He rates it. He, say, he says it's one of his favourites. So I really am. Mark and I have very similar taste in beers. We like the darker beers. So I'm intrigued to see what this one is like as well. We have got a one finger white or off white head to the top. Quite tight formed bubbles on it I would say. Uh, the body is a black set body with a little bit of light coming in down the bottom I would say just a little bit of light penetration no don't don't um, but uh, yeah it's it's a good looking beer good looking beer right let's see what it's like on the aroma from that I'm getting I'm getting coffee and I'm getting a nice sort of hit of of dark chocolate as well, sort of plain chocolate. It's got nice, simple, simple aromas. Oh, yeah, it's just, just literally just is coffee, chocolate, little bit, little bit of vanilla there, but not a lot. It, I would say it's just those two. Coffee is giving off slightly burnt sort of coffee, but that really does add to it nicely. It's not a beer that I've had before. And I think, I think Mark's sorted out, I think we are doing a visit to the brew, brewery tap, or the brewery at some point. Obviously once the, uh, the old Covid situation uh, quietens down a little bit more, then we'll be getting out with the camera and doing bits. So I'm thoroughly looking forward to that as well. Quite easily doable from, uh, from my gaff it is by train, so that's always a good thing. Because if you're having a few beers, if you're out for beers, the last thing you need is your car. So there we go. Right, let's see what it's like on the uh, in the mouth for the taste. Cheers, everybody, and cheers, Mark. <sighs> Interesting. It's it's quite a rich beer. It's quite a rich beer. It's the coffee is there and the chocolate is there, um, and they're quite. They're quite prominent, but yeah, there's a bit of an aftertaste to it. You certainly doesn't. You can't taste any strength, any alcohol in it at all. It is not drinking like a five point one. Um, It's a bit, it's a bit like the old fashioned porters, a London porter. It's got that sort of hit to it, but I 
the coffee comes through nicely the chocolate is there the chocolate is still there on the aroma so that adds to the taste because you're thinking you're getting that for a for a chocolate I mean it's not a chocolate stout but for a sort of chocolatey stout it's quite nice it's yeah yeah it's all right it's okay it's all right certainly nothing wrong with it it's a little thinner than I thought it might be I thought it might just be a bit more chunky a bit more robust smooth heavy perhaps um, but but that's an, yeah that's yeah that's quite a drinkable beer very drinkable beer there you go I mean I haven't I haven't ever tried this one before um, would I try it again yeah I would I'd be interested to try it on cask uh, and see what it's like on cask I've drunk this one at room temperature and I wonder if if I tr should try it a little bit colder um, but what do I do if I tried it colder then I'll be saying I wonder if I should have drunk it at room temperature um, so there you go guys that was uh, the Prince of Ales that's darkness from Exeter Brewery uh, limited limited the Exeter Brewery limited obviously in Exeter in Devon uh, and that is their 5.1 Prince of Ales darkness yeah I'll definitely be finishing that there'll be none going down the plug hole I know that so that's not a bad thing guys as usual please 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 I always say it. if you've got a friend who's into their beers then please share this video with them I always say it there's far too many beers to be drinking alone so please share it with them uh, make sure you like and share my Facebook page ginger beer beer review uh, and also then you've obviously found my YouTube channel because you're watching this video now uh, drop a comment in the comments box below let me give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs down is this the kind of beer that you would like let me know if you've tried this let me know if you know of the brewery uh, suggest another beer from them perhaps um, make sure you click on the subscribe button for the for the uh, YouTube channel please and also click on the bell it will notify you every time I post something fresh like this beer uh, Instagram ginger underscore beer underscore beer underscore review uh, where I post pictures of the beers as I'm reviewing them if I don't drink them first uh, but the main thing is the YouTube channel and